Hello students. Today I am going to tell the answers of checkpoint 2. The question is, give two examples of each of the following. Number 1, floating plants. As you know, duckweed, water lettuce and water hyacinth are the examples of floating plants. So you can write any two of them. Number 2. Underwater plants. Pondweed, tape grass and hydrilla are the examples of underwater plants. So you can choose any two of them and you can write there. Next one is what power. Here two words are defined. Number 1 adaptations and number 2 is habitat. So you have to write adaptations Whatever is written in book, you have to write the same thing in your copy as well as habitat also. You have to define that is the same way as it is done in book. But your heading should be define the following terms. Next is exercises of lesson 2. Question number 1. A. Tick the correct answer. Which of the following aquatic plants has a long, thin, flexible and hollow stem? The options are duckweed, grass, hydrilla and lotus. Answer is lotus. Number 2. Which of the following plant is an aquatic plant? Options are mango tree, neem, water lily and mushroom. Answer is water lily. Question number 3. Which of the following plant has roots above the ground? Options are mango, mangrove, neem and lotus. Answer is mangrove. Question number 4. Which of the following is an adaptation of desert plants? Number A, A long leaves, spongy stem, spines instead of leaves and roots above the ground. Answer is spines instead of leaves. Question number B. Fill in the blanks. Number 1. The plants in hilly areas are dash in shape. Answer is conical. Number 2. Coconut is found in dash areas. Answer is coastal. Question number 3. The stem of dash plants are spongy and filled with air. Answer is Floating plants. Floating. Answer is only floating. Question number 4. Mango is an example of dash tree. Under the answer is evergreen tree. Question number 5. Hydrilla is an example of dash plant. Underwater plants. Answer is underwater. So, I have already told you the answers that of question number A and B. Now question number C and D I am going to say as your homework. Today is this much. Have a good day.